Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Lonnie here. Real estate. Should you buy a home now or should you wait? That's a good question. Yeah. Is it a bubble now and should you wait? And I'm going to show you this first one at $115,000. It has two bedrooms, one bath, 850 square feet, and it is furnished. Let's take a look at this. Now remember, this is more of a fixer-upper, though it does come furnished. All in all, it's pretty clean. Sometimes when you get into this price range, you can see problems with the walls and uh, painting and cabinets and stuff. So we can see here that it has older cabinets, but everything looks pretty good. I don't think you're going to need to do any really, uh, really strong remodeling because the bones of the property are excellent. And so let's take a look at this bedroom here. Now, the thing that it has, the bedrooms are fairly small. It only has one bathroom between the two of the bedrooms. And so that may be a consideration for you. But remember the price and uh, it's uh, this bedroom right here, I'm showing you, it's unfurnished, it needs to be cleaned out. You can see it needs some painting. I want to take you around, give you an idea what a neighborhood in this uh, price range will get you. So, uh, cobblestone streets, they do have sidewalks here, and uh, this is Chapala. So this would be a typical neighborhood throughout Chapala. This actually is a nicer neighborhood in a lot of ways because it has trees. Some of the areas don't have trees. The question is, and this is what I'm being asked a lot, should I buy a home now or should I wait? It is definitely, there's a bubble going on here and it doesn't look like it's gonna burst. And so we're very high of the market. You'll have to make the determination if you think that buying now is a good time. Think back when we had the housing boom in the United States and the properties originally were selling for $200,000 and then they were going up to, let's say, almost $400,000. Let's say around Las Vegas and, and New Mexico and Arizona. And then they went up to maybe even six or $700,000 and everybody was in a frantic and everybody kept buying it as it kept going up, up, up. And then bang, you know, there was a down and there's going to be a bubble here that's gonna burst and do you wait? You've gotta figure that out if you think that uh, you're better off waiting. And then of course it depends on your timeline, how long you know that you will be here, when you will be here, and will you uh, wanna make the, uh, the, bu the buy now or do you wanna wait? Okay, now let's move to San Antonio which is about three and a half to four miles to Ahihi. So it's fairly close, a nice area here. This unit is 138,000 US dollars, two bedroom, one bath, 820 square feet. And this unit is unfurnished, but it's clean also. Let's take a look at this one. So right out in front, you just see that it's very vibrant. The colors are very nice. And remember, it is unfurnished. Uh, the situation is because the real estate prices are so much lower in certain areas, they opt to take the furniture out and sell it. Whereas before you used to be able to buy units that were furnished, there are units that are furnished. But as an example, this kitchen hasn't been remodeled, but it's resurfaced and repainted and the walls are all clean, definitely. Has an older style tile that's on the floor. And uh, it, it just is a really clean unit. The bathrooms, the tile, everything is fresh and somewhat new. You're not gonna need to do anything here. Maybe a little touch up here and there, but it's a great unit for this price. I do recommend this could be a buy for you. This gives you an idea of streets that would be in San Antonio and Ahihi in the uh, in the village part of these towns. So it gives you an idea of what you can expect and look around and just sort of get a feel for what it looks like. 
When I say a bubble and everything is going up, it is amazing. Now this is Mexico prices, this is here. So a home that used to be $150,000 now may be selling as high as 300,000. Homes that are selling prior to that, now the higher level of a home, let's say a $350,000 home, you know, two years ago, may be selling for six or 700,000. Depends on the neighborhood and the development that you would be in. So there is that situation that's happening here. On the higher end, things are going up pretty drastically. I'm excited to show you this one in Chapala, 248,000 US dollars, two bedroom, two bath. It is unfurnished, but the unit is clean. Now look at the size of this unit, 1,872 square feet. This is a large unit here. And also I have a surprise for you. When you come into the entryway, here's what you're going to see. Look at this, a little swimming pool, a waiting area, cool off, just relax in here. This unit is definitely in first class order. You don't have to do anything. Uh, you're gonna need to buy furniture. But again, the, the unit is like brand new. It's just really a clean, clean, clean unit here. Uh, all of the walls, all the floors, everything has been, uh, they're new. And so it's really great. And the kitchen has plenty of cabinet space. Uh, now let's step in the first bedroom here. Look, it has a little sliding door there. You go out to a patio. Here it has great closet space, upgraded closets here. The bathroom, the tile, everything is fresh and pretty new here. Now you'll see the bedroom here. It has plenty of closet space and that's really nice. The rooms don't look as large here as I'm showing you. In person, they are much feel a much larger area here. So uh, it's a great unit. Also has a little patio sitting area and you can relax out there. Okay, let's step outside. Let's take a little drive around the area, give a feel of what Chapala looks like and what you can expect in this part of Mexico. I want to talk a little bit about rentals and uh, what you, the approach you want to go on, you know, checking out rentals down here. A lot of people have a misconception. I get on my phone consultation, I will get people will ask me, you know, that they're afraid or should they tell the uh, rental agency how much they want, you know, to spend. And they're sort of thinking that if I tell them I have uh, $700 a month, I go on a spend on rental, they may, the rental agent may find a place that's typically would rent for $300 and try to get me to rent it for $700 and they'd be ripped off. That's not the way it works down here. Rental agents are going to have inventory in their, on their computer, on their website, and it's going to be the price what it's going to be. So if you go into a real estate office, a rental agency, and you tell them, Let's say you do have $700 a month you want to pay for rent and you say, oh, I only want to spend four because you don't want to get ripped off. Well, then they're going to look through their inventory and they're going to say, I don't have anything for four. So what my recommendation is you go in and again, let's say you have 700, you go in and you say, I have for rent, I have about $600 to $800. Then that way they can show you properties at those level but if you go in too low they're not going to show you anything you go and be realistic with it the other thing that's important I'm talking about uh, rental agencies that literally have an office they're maybe part of a real estate company they're a reputable you know company they have a website and everything else don't get scammed by somebody that's trying to sell you something on uh, uh, like uh, Facebook or something like that uh, and they tell you they got this great deal you've been checking it out you know that they're offering this property that's way cheaper than what you've been noticing on the different websites and then the person says okay well I'm up north I can't show you the property 
But if you, you know, make a deposit today, then I will uh, give it to you, give you that price. You know, let's do a deal right now. Don't do that. Those are scams. So don't feel like also don't feel like you're going to be paid more by using a rental agency. You're not really going to be paid any more. In a lot of ways, it's better to use them because they're going to give you a clean contract in English. Uh, 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 they're going to be able to find, uh, let's say, maintenance people if something breaks in the house. And if you have to be responsible for finding a uh, repair person, very difficult down here. So my little note about rentals and what to expect and what not to do. Okay, now when you come into the Ahi, especially in the village area, prices go up substantially. As you can see here in this unit, $499,000 cash, two bedroom, two bath, 200, 2,200 square feet, and it is furnished. And so it's a nice clean unit here. And let's go in. I have a surprise for you in the beginning here and show you something this unit has that a lot of them don't have. So you'll see the difference in price between Chapala and Ahihi here. So now this is in the village. Now look at this. Wow, look at this. There's actually a, a little swimming pool, a little hot tub in the area here. And look at how well it's furnished. Look at the colors and everything in there. Very cheery and light. Furniture is very nice, upgraded furniture. The unit is turnkey. Just come in and live. You don't need to do anything. And you see the quality of everything here. The owners have taken great pride in remodeling and choosing excellent furniture for this unit. Airy, bright, and just a lot of fun. It's very much of a Spanish Mexican style home if you want to have that. A lot of closet space in here. So it's really, really nice. And then this is the next bedroom here. And then outside, up on the roof area, you've got a beautiful little terrace up here sitting and being able to see the stars. Well, this gives you an overview of homes here, also the neighborhoods. So you have an understanding of what it is here and what it really looks like from the ground level. Now, if you are thinking about purchasing or renting or even moving here, let's talk because I know I can share information with you that will help you immensely and you won't get scammed and trapped into negative situations. I help hundreds of people yearly and so let's talk. Also, how about subscribing? It is free.